Hi guys, uh, I'll have to narrate uh, this um, because uh, something went wrong with the uh, soundtrack. Anyway, this is about my uh, Polariscope, which I built from a plastic box, uh, just like this. The kind you use to buy food in. And um, for a polarizing film, I'm using uh, a film that I uh, removed from an old laptop uh, LCD screen. It was uh, black and white. It was very old. As you can see, it's uh, about uh, 12 inch. And um, I had to cut uh, exactly the size of the box lid uh, so it can fit inside the lid. The older the uh, screen is, the easier it is to remove the filter from it. And um, I also use uh, this sort of a uh, swan neck, I think they're called with a clip on from uh, a lamp that I used to have and got broke um, and uh, this little clip at the edge um, regular clip I attached it to the uh, neck with the little bolt that it had there now what you have to do is cut uh, the box uh, somewhere around here, leave some room, you'll need it for later and uh, then um, this is what you get, I uh, wrapped it with electric tape, black um, now uh, you have uh, you have to attach those using the lid which you have uh, pre-cut um, the middle of it um, leaving only the uh, top nothing inside so it uh, has this uh, L shape section now you take the lid and put in it your uh, pre-cut round um, piece of uh, filter put uh, the rest on and um, close those together Now, all you need now is uh, another polarizer and a source of light. And um, if you have an LCD screen, you've got it. Naturally, I have the uh, Aqua Duster on my screen. Hi, Bobby. So, what you do, you take this clipped um, neck. Open the clip and start rotating till you get absolutely nothing. Open a new text document. That's right click, new text document. Don't even bother to give it a name, just double click on it. Now you have to enlarge it. That's it. That's your cheap, very very cheap polarizer. I'll try to uh, can you see the stress? It's been in the flame. There's the stress. This is just a ponty straight from the flame. This has no stress in it, it's totally annealed. Um, you can see a bit of light because this is uh, spherical, but um, there's no stress here. This was flame annealed, so you can see a little bit of stress, especially where it touched the... Uh, especially where it touched um, the mold which it was um, blown into. This is the uh, beginning of an elephant head um, which is totally stressed because it is thick and I did not bother to anneal it because um, it was the practice piece. If I'd like to uh, keep working on it I'll have to anneal it because it will probably crack when I put it back in the flame. 
It's also fun to uh, look at uh, regular everyday uh, glassware. You will usually see um, in water glasses, you'll see uh, lots of stress uh, at the handles, which is uh, us why they usually break so easily. So that's the way to build a very cheap polariscope. Just be careful with those uh, water glasses near your very expensive LCD screens. Bye now.